Hallelujah. Father God, Lord, we come today once again lifting you up and honoring you, God. We worship you and thank you for direction today, divine guidance today. Father, we need you. We don't know what to do on our own. So we seek you this morning as your word reminds us that you will teach us your past, that you will lead us in your truth and teach us, Lord God. We come today reminded that if we acknowledge you in all of our ways, that you shall direct our path. So we seek wisdom today in the things that we do. Your word says if we lack wisdom to ask you who gives to all men liberally and upbraideth not. We're seeking guidance, in, instruction in our words, in our thoughts, in our deeds, in our coming and in our going. Your word says, Lord God, teach me and I'll be silent. Show us how we have erred. And so God, we ask that you would reveal to us anything, Lord God, that is not of you. Guide us and lead us, Lord God. Father, that we would walk in righteousness. Lead us in your righteousness because of our enemies, oh God. Father, make the way straight before us according to your word. Teach us your way and lead us in a level path, Lord God. Father, we need you today because you are our rock and our fortress. Lord God, Father, for your name's sake, Lord God, you lead us and guide us. And so we thank you today, Lord God, that you are guiding our every step, that you are directing us in your word, that we would walk in holiness and righteousness, that we would walk in love and by faith, that we would be forgiving and merciful because we are seeking you for guidance today. We're seeking you for direction, Lord God, in the way we should go in decisions that we we need to make. And so we bless you, Lord God, because you've counseled us. We thank you, Lord God, for renewing our minds. We thank you, Father, that as our minds are stayed on you, that you give us perfect peace because we trust you. So as you lead us and direct us, Lord God, as you guide us today, help us to be effective witnesses. Help us, Lord God, to be on fire for Christ. Help us to be ambassadors and representatives of our Savior. Help us, Lord God, to represent the spiritual kingdom of God. As you direct us, we walk in your commands. I thank you, Lord God, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we trust in you with all of our heart. And we're not leaning to our own understanding but God we're praying it today and we're praising today and we're preaching the word today because your word instructs us and as we're walking in your word I thank you Lord God that we're walking in the path that you set before us and so God I thank you that you lead the humble in justice I thank you that you teach the humble your way so search our hearts oh God and know our hearts try us and know our anxious thoughts Lord God Father and see if there's any hurtful ways in us lead us in the everlasting way. So God, we're praying and trusting in you today that Father, you won't lead us into temptation, but Father, for every temptation that you provide a way of escape. So God, we are led by your spirit today and we mortify the deeds of the flesh. Instruct us and teach us in the way you, we should go. Counsel us, Lord God, with your eye upon us. Lord God, I thank you today in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that we trust every step to you, every conversation, every decision in our family, Lord God, in the job, as we come, as we go, with our our health, with our finances, in ministry, using our gifts and our talents, every conversation that we have, Lord God, with people we know, strangers, Lord God, even as enemies try to approach us, I thank you, Lord God, that you give us a word in season and out, because you're guiding us spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, in every way, Lord God, we are trusting in you, and I thank you, Lord God, that you said you would help us and strengthen us and hold us up with your righteous right hand, so as you lead us, we have no fear, but we walk by faith, because because you've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So God, we thank you that your word is a lamp to our feet and a light unto our path. We thank you, Lord God, that your precepts, Lord God, are right. And Father, we thank you today. The commands of the Lord is pure. And I thank you, Lord God, that you enlighten us even on today. And so we yield to your instruction right now. We present our body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. We thank you today, Lord God, that we will not turn to the left and to the right but that our eyes are fixed on Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. And so, God, in the name of Jesus, have your way, Lord God. Lead us that we will be effective today under the influence of the Holy Spirit, walking in your word and in your truth. Lord God, being loyal, being faithful, Lord God, walking with integrity, Lord God, in righteousness, becoming holy. Lord God, Father, through every situation and circumstance, I thank you that you are purging us, pruning us, cleansing us, perfecting us, molding us as you are the potter and we're 
we're the clay in your hands. So God, have your way today. In everything, we give you praise. In everything, we give you glory. In everything, we give you honor because you are good and your mercy endureth forever. So we thank you and we praise you, God, for what you've done. We thank you for what you're doing now. We thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for victories. We thank you for souls coming to Christ today. Use us as a witness today. Help us to be a light. Help us to be the salt. Help us to be a witness. Help us to be available. Help us to be upright. Help us to remain in Christ, to have on the whole arm of God. And Father, we just thank you for empowering us and enabling us that we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.